Each autumn, some 4,000 students wend their way to swell the half million population of the South Yorkshire city of Sheffield to embark on one of 250 different undergraduate degree courses given by the University of Sheffield. Sheffield, a city built on seven hills, fed by five rivers, and as a consequence of a hinterland rich in mineral resources and its water power, a latter-day industrial powerhouse of 19th and 20th century England. Sheffield is synonymous with steel and steel making, but gone are the days of acres of chimney and poles of smoke. Today, steel production, albeit a greater tonnage than ever before, takes place in a fraction of the space using a fraction of the labour force. The Old Town Hall remains the hub of local authority, but England's fourth city is regenerating and diversifying. Meadow Hall, Britain's premier out-of-town shopping precinct, has been established on the site of Hadfield Steelworks. The Don Valley Stadium is testament to Sheffield's preeminence as a city of sport. And the Museum of Popular Music is indicative of a cultural revolution. Cleaner, greener transport, in the form of the Super Tram, leads to one of the largest employers in modern-day Sheffield, the University of Sheffield, widely regarded as one of the UK's leading higher education institutions. The university emerged in 1897 from the coalition of two colleges and a medical school. The precincts of Firth College, Firth Court, remain the centre of the university's administration and a warm reminder of 19th century architecture. The expanded institution covers a significant area of the surrounding city as well as outposts in the Dern Valley and at the Northern General Hospital. The buildings are widely different in appearance demonstrating the changing fashions of the century. Certain features have been deemed worthy of listing. <music> Undergraduate life is for many an introduction to community living. The halls of residence and self-catering flats provide university-managed premises for those preferring life without the complication of renting or owning private sector accommodation. Some prefer to adopt a preference for the latter and saturate the erstwhile villages of Broom Hill, Crooks and Walkley with their fluctuating populations of students. Away from the shackles of parentally imposed disciplines, the undergraduate is faced with a huge range of recreational opportunities. Sport and fitness are pursued with enthusiasm, both for fun and in serious inter-institution competition. Further diversions are arranged and promoted by the Thriving Students' Union, acclaimed as the best in the country. Everyone is encouraged to at least participate, if not take office, in one or more of the hundreds of student societies. Sheffield is one of the places that offered the course that I wanted and there were very few of those. But I came to visit here and had a tour of the Union and I was really impressed with the features that it had and also with the standards of the academic departments. But undergraduate days, as well as being fun times, are also intended to be a stimulating learning experience. After all, the mission of the university is to maintain the highest standards of excellence as a research-led institution whose staff work at the frontiers of academic inquiry and educate students in a research environment. The receiving of knowledge and the self-acquisition of information is the catalyst in fulfillment of the undergraduate goal. 
sealed in most disciplines by success in the semesterly torture of examinations. The rewards, however, far outweigh the discomfort. I should like to congratulate you on gaining a degree from the University of Sheffield. Graduation day is an important landmark in your life. It's the culmination of a great deal of hard work by both you and your teachers. I know that others, such as your family and friends, have also contributed to your success, some at no little cost to themselves. I believe strongly that the principal benefit of taking an honours degree is that it prepares you for a lifetime of self-education. We shall be monitoring your progress very closely with interest when you leave this university. You are our very best ambassadors. Our success will be judged by your achievements. Congratulations once again on the award of the degree. I do wish you every success during the next phase of your life.